They show the variation of absolute humidity. They show the variation of absolute humidity of isolated volume of atmosphere with temperature theta. The relative humidity of air, air volume corresponding to the basketball points. So uh, you can see now. Say we go to this side, we go to temperature reducing side. So when you reduce the temperature, so you reduce the temperature, and you can see absolute humidity is the same. So when you reduce the temperature, what happens to the RH? You know that, right? So these are like very fundamental facts I'm talking about. When the temperature is reduced, you know the amount now. What is RH? What is RH? Percentage amount of vapor which can be contained in a system compared to the maximum. RH is percentage amount. of vapor which can be contained in a system compared with the maximum that the system can contain. So there is always a maximum amount of vapor that you can contain in the system, right? So this maximum amount of vapor depends on two factors. Maximum amount of vapor which can be kept in the system depends on two factors. What are the factors? Temperature and volume. When you increase temperature, the maximum amount that you can contain in that system is more. Right? When you increase the temperature, the maximum amount of vapor particles which can be contained in the system is more. Can contain more vapor particles in that particular system. Right. When the volume is more, definitely you can put more vapor into that system. So that is like very obvious. very obvious so uh, here what we are trying to do is we're not changing the volume we keep volume constant we're changing the temperature so we are reducing the maximum amount so you can say RH is equal to current vapor mass divided by the maximum or saturated vapor mass the maximum amount we say the saturated amount so you are going to by decreasing temperature you are going to decrease this by decreasing temperature you are going to decrease this right so you are going to decrease temperature so you are going to decrease m note you're going to decrease M note. But uh, the absolute humidity does not seem to change. Right? So, the current vapor mass is a constant value. So, you are going to decrease. You are going to decrease the temperature. So, you are going to decrease the maximum amount that it can contain. This is constant, 
this reduces so rh increases so when you in when you decrease the temperature rs rh is going to increase so at point c at point c rh becomes 100% increases increases and say that at point c rh becomes 100% so when rh becomes 100% and if you further decrease the temperature now when rh becomes 100% current m root value is equal to current m value now when you further reduce the temperature this will further reduce so then this also will have to reduce otherwise there's going to be more than 100% which is not it is not the case which can have which, which cannot happen m in the bad m not or m value in the bad so it's going to be more than 100% so that is not going to happen so we know that when you reduce temperature even more than uh, rh 100% then both will reduce at the same time they come out you know, because m not cannot be m cannot be greater than m node so if m node drops m has to drop as well so it get condensed so when it get condensed the amount of vapor that in the system right now is going to decrease so the absolute humidity also decreases so after half a percent absolute humidity decreases right so all of these points c and d they are at 100% A to C, these are not 100%, less than 100%, right? So beyond C, it's saturated. Before C, it's unsaturated. That is how, that's what you need to understand. Beyond C, it's saturated. Before C, unsaturated. So point A can be 100% wrong. Point B can be 100% wrong. Point A and C can be the same. Relative humidity? No. Point A and C cannot be the same. Wrong. Point C can be less than 100%. No, point C is almost 100. Point D can be never be less than 100%. No. No. 